What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to apply or how to add a wish list feature into our WooCommerce store based on WordPress in a free and simple method. So before anything, please subscribe to this channel because we bring tutorials and videos with guides a lot of times and we share information so start subscribing this channel for more tutorials and let me show you one example here is our seller visual model wordpress team and here we have some products okay if i select some product and i do not want to apply to cart i want to apply to a wish list i can click into this button product added and if you review the score icon into the menu, into the top right corner of the menu, we have now this score icon, and here is my wish list. And why should I have a wish list on my store? It's just because it creates um, a turning back option for the users. The users can apply to wish lists products that they can or won't purchase yet, but want to save for later maybe to review the price, to share with friends and family, or even to create a wedding wish list, for example, and share with the guests. You can share the, this wish list on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, email, and WhatsApp. And here is the part, here is how it does look like. We can apply to cart, we can review the price, see the product and click on it in the case that you want to see the product description, okay? Simple and easy, works nice and works for free. Now, how to apply this into our WordPress? If you are a look user of Visual Moto WordPress Teams, you have this present on your plugins installation panel, okay? So, WP Dashboard Visual Moto install plugins and you already have this, okay? If you are not using a Visual Moto WordPress team yet, I recommend that you change your mindset, but Go to WordPress, Plugins, Add New, and into the search field, okay, on the top right corner, we're gonna search for YTH WooCommerce Wishlist, this one, this guy's rocks, I love this guy, so go to right here and install plugins. The last update of this plugin into the video recording date is was one month ago. It's comfortable with my current version of WordPress and have almost a million active installations. So this is really recommended if you are using, if you are running an online shop, do a wish list. It gonna helps your traffic, gonna helps your churning, gonna helps your sales. Okay, so install after this activate button. Just a note before this process, okay, I did jump this step, but make sure that you already have the WooCommerce plugin installed and have created some products on your store, okay? You cannot apply an add-on to WooCommerce without the main plugin. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for some videos where I do explain more about WooCommerce plugin and stores in WordPress, review the links, okay? Always review the links or review the cards over the video, but here is what happens. As soon as we click on activate button into the plugin installation page, we're gonna be redirected to the plugins list, okay? We're gonna scroll down until we can see the plugin, and here is the guy, okay? It's already active, and I'm gonna click right here into the settings. So we can play with the plugin settings. We can enable the Ajax loading, no need for it, but feel free to, I'm gonna enable so you can see and save change. If you bought together with the other plugins of these guys because they sell premium versions, you can, uh, you can turn on this option, no need for it, we're gonna keep all for free. And now the add to wish list option, okay? After product added to wish list, show view wishlist link, show remove from wishlist link, or show add to wishlist button. I'm gonna keep this one, okay, the show option. Scroll down a little bit. 
Loop Settings, Show Add to Wishlist on Loop. I will keep that marked so we can review. After the Ash with List button, we can change this, okay? To on top, before, use a short code. This is nice, the option, okay? Product page settings, after Add to Cart. Add to wish this text. In the case that you're running a store in another language and this part does not translate, just type the text on your language or change the asterisk list, okay? Change to another text, for example. The product added text. The browse wish list text. The product already added to wish list text. And right here, we're gonna move to style, color, and customization, okay? So, the style of the Edge Wish List, it can be a button following your team style, a button with your own custom style, in the case that you know something about CSS and HTML, you can design your own button to color ideas, or keep on text, as we did right here into our Seller WordPress Team Demonstrative website. This is text, okay? Add to wish list icon. They have some example of icons, okay, right here, as you can review. I did not share this yet, but as soon as you activate the plugin into your WordPress website, you're gonna be able to see into the right corner of your menu, on your navigation menu, a core icon next to the cart icon that our seller WordPress team applies. But independently of the team that you are using, this core icon gonna be added and you can change this core icon right here okay you have some nice options and some not nice options to be honest to edit the wishlist button but it's okay you can apply custom CSS I'm gonna save change wishlist page options. This is the most important part of the guide, okay? Before having this option to work, you need to have a wish list, okay? Page. Normally, while plugin installation, the plugin already create a wish list page for you, okay? Let's review if it's all right. Here is the wish list, but let's imagine that it does not have this page for some reason your WordPress had some problem and you don't have this page. So let me delete this. Remember that this page was automatically installed by the plugin, but if you do not have this page, just go to page, add new, grab this short code from the plugin, okay? This one. Independently of the page builder that you are using, all you need to add into a text field, it can be Elementor, WP Bakery, Site Origin, or even Gutenberg, just type this, okay, to your, on your page, add a name to your page, I recommend that you call this page as wishlist, okay, and save, publish the page, simple as this, okay. As soon as you do this, you're gonna be able to select a wish list page into this panel, okay? You're gonna open a list of your page, search for wish list. Pick the page to be the main wish list page, make sure that you add the short code, and we are good to go, okay? In the wishlist table show, you can show product variations, date which the product has been added to the wishlist, button to remove the product from the wishlist. You can redirect to cart, I do not recommend this, okay? You can remove if added to cart, this is good, if some person adds a product previously made 
on wishlist to the cart, the product is going to be automatically removed from the wishlist because we assume that the product is going to be purchased, okay? We can share the wishlist, this is really important, we want that persons be able to share their wishlists. I'm going to even apply this option, share, show, uh, share your L field on the wishlist page, sharing title, my wishlist on visual model, but can be, for example, your my wedding wishlist, my... That depends, depends on your store, for example, your store name, wishlist. You can ap even apply a social text in the case that some persons share these wishlists on Facebook and ask for persons to buy products from their wishlist, okay? And a social image where URL. You can upload an image on your media library, okay? Grab this, uh, grab this URL and post right here, okay? So the image that appears while person sharing this wishlist links goes with this image, okay? It's recommended. I'm gonna not do this yet, but it's recommended in the case they want to optimize it. The default wishlist name, it's my wishlist. The add to cart text, it's add to cart. Remember, you can edit this in the way that you want. The style of add to cart, it can be a button, a custom style, or a text. We can change the colors, for example, the button text color, the Facebook icon color, the Twitter color, Pinterest color, and of course email, WhatsApp, and save chance. Now we can go premium because there is no free launch, okay? So if you want to integrate, if you want more styles, you can go with their premium versions, if you like the plugin. We're not gonna do this to this guide, but you are free to do it in the case that you want. Now let's review if everything is working fine. I'm gonna search for a product of our store. I would like to add this to wish list, okay? Product added. Now, as you can see, we have a product added to our wish list. Once I'm using Gutenberg, the style of this page is a little different from the normal, but we can edit it in a very simple way, okay? No need to worry. Go to the page editor. I'm gonna fix this, but the way to fix changes according to the page builder that you are using, but I'm gonna fix this using the Gutenberg. Using the spacer. With something like in 300 pixels. Let's review the change on the page. And here is the result we have, okay? Simple, easy and effective. This extra space has been added because of the link, okay? We can remove the link on the plugin settings. But let's change more products to our shop so we can review from our shop to our wish list so we can review what did happens, okay? I'm gonna add this one, this one. If the product is already added, it's gonna show this text. We can remove the add to wish list option from the store as we review it. And here is how does it looks like. You have a unique link from your for your wish list, okay? You can share this wish list. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to subscribe this channel, like this video and share it with your friends in the case that this brings you some value. Review the links that I'm gonna fix into the first comment of this video, okay? The links are very useful for very useful source of information, download things and places where you can purchase 
almost a um, domain name for 99 cents, a very cheap web hosting to start your online store, and the links are very good to reputable companies, okay? Go to visualmoto.com in the case that you want to see more tutorials and guides, or download one or for WordPress themes. Go to wordpress.org where we have the Enzo free WordPress team that is the best free WordPress team on the planet and download our Bordless WordPress plugin in the case that you want to enlarge the world of your Elementor, Page Builder Editor or WP Bakery because it brings lots of elements to these plugins for free, okay? And if you want to have a store like this one, show it on this video, go to Visual Modo, search for our seller team that is fully comfortable with WooCommerce, wish lists, and many other store maker plugins and download this team, okay? And I'll see you later. All the best!